As horrible as it sounds, seven celebrities were dubbed as the worst Korean actors of 2023. The rating was conducted by Sports Kyung, who asked 55 movie reporters to rate the recent performances of actors, and the results were surprising. You may even find your favorite actor on the list. Starting off, three actors received the same amount of votes from the reporters. They all received five votes each from five different journalists and therefore ended up in the last place, which in this case is good that they ranked so low. The first one that we need to mention is Kim Hye Soo, who made her movie come back in 2023. She took on the main role in the movie Smugglers and the reception wasn't the best, to say the least. In fact, the movie received a lot of mixed reviews, so it wasn't just Hye Soo who was being criticized. On the one hand, there were people who claimed that she did a good job and that she proved that she was a good actress. On the other hand, the critics dubbed her acting as showy and in the case of sports young reporters as disappointing. What may have caused this variety of reviews is that Hye Soo's acting fits K-dramas more than movies that are targeted towards the international audience who may not be so familiar with the acting of Korean stars. Whatever the case is, Kim Hye Soo continues to thrive and we're sure that she'll receive more praise in the future. Another actor who received five votes was Go Ara. She was criticized for being supposedly typecast in the movie The Child. Although the movie received tremendous praise and many viewers wanted to see more, its success was slightly overshadowed by the fact that it was a comeback of Kim Sun Ho who returned back to the industry after his scandal that happened in 2021. Despite that, not even he escaped some criticism as some journalists dubbed his role in The Child as not remarkable. When it comes to Go Ara, it seems like she was overshadowed by her co-stars as most of the reviews focused on the other characters, especially that of Kim Sun Ho. Overall, Go Ara's acting skills weren't criticized by the reporters, but it may be that this role simply fell a bit flat for the critics and she may need to branch out to do something more noteworthy in the future. This year, she's set to star in a drama titled The Love Story of Chun Hua, so we'll see if it's going to help her to get some positive reviews. The last actor who received only five votes was Park So Joon. The critics claimed that his performance in Concrete Utopia was bad because it lacked range. Although the reporters focused only on Concrete Utopia, it wasn't the only time in 2023 that So Joon got criticized for his acting skills. In December, his performance in the Netflix drama Kyung Song Creature started wild conversations online. In a post, netizens concluded that the issue with So Joon's acting is that one always knows that he is doing exactly that. He's acting. In other words, his acting doesn't make people believe that what's happening is real and authentic. People also think that so Jun often chooses very similar roles to play and therefore his portfolio lacks diversity. What's more, some netizens feel like he stopped putting enough effort into his roles and got worse over time, which may explain the lack of diversity in his roles. Whatever the case is, he along with Go Ara and Kim Hye Soo ranked fifth on the list of the worst actors of 2023. As of March 2024, So Joon hasn't announced any of his upcoming projects yet other than his appearance in season 2 of Gyeong Song Creature, so it may be that he's taking a short break to get back on the right track. Park Sung Wung landed in the fourth place on the list as he got six votes from various reporters. This time around, the critics went all in and claimed that despite starring in five projects in 2023, none of them were particularly memorable and Sung Wung fell into the shadows of his co-stars. According to them, his appearance fee doesn't match his performance, so they basically called him out for charging too much without putting much effort into his work. As you can already see, that's really not a favorable review, and it appears that many people online agree with the sentiment because his latest projects didn't receive exceptionally high ratings but were more or less stuck at seven stars per movie, which is very average. Despite his missteps in 2023, Sung Wung is still one of the most appreciated actors in Korea and he's often praised as someone who can bring nuance and depth into any character he takes on. In 2024, Sung Wung is set to make his comeback with a drama titled Dong Jae, The Good or the Bastard, and he's also been announced as one of the lead actors in the movie A desperate pursuit. Only time will tell whether his performances in 2024 can clear his bad track record from 2023. As it goes with many idols turned actors, Girls Days Yura also cannot catch a break and finds herself in third place for her poor performance in the movie Marrying the Mafia Returns. Yura was dubbed unsuitable for the lead role by 10 different movie reporters who deemed her acting very bad when compared to her co-stars. It appears that Yura isn't well suited to carry a movie as a lead actress yet and works better in supporting roles. The biggest issue with her acting, according to the reporters, was that she was exaggerating her facial expressions. This appears to have hurt the movie in the long run. One critic wrote, the same facial expressions and exaggerated tone throughout the movie, comic scenes where you don't even know what to laugh at. Though I like the actor,
actor, it was disappointing. What may work better for Yura is to work on her acting skills a bit more before taking on big roles. She has many fans and we think there will come a time when she'll surprise everyone with an improved acting performance. Last year, she also appeared in Destined With You and right now she's returned to her role as a host on the popular dating show Exchange Season 3. Other than that, she has no new projects listed under her name as of March 2024. Interestingly, Ha Jong Woo, who starred in Road to Boston, took second place for his acting in the movie. He received 11 votes because his acting performance was seen as lacking interpretation and too stiff. This is something that many Korean actors struggle with as they're often labeled as stiff on camera, which doesn't help their case when it comes to reviews. What didn't help Ha Jong Woo's performance in Road to Boston was that he was surrounded by other well-known names such as Im Si Wan, Bae Sung Woo, and Kim Sang Ho. The points made by the critics in regard to Jong Woo's acting were, no matter how you look at it, it's just Ha Jong Woo. I have seen enough of mannerism acting. And when will the transition period of his lifeless acting end? I miss the Ha Jong Woo from The Chaser. Despite all this criticism, Ha Jong Woo isn't stopping anytime soon and he's about to make an even bigger splash in the industry in 2024. It's said that he's going to be making his directorial debut with the movie Lobby, which he's also supposed to star in. Overall, there are six different movies tied to his name that are currently being produced and he's playing the main role in all of them. If that's not what hard work looks like, we don't know what is. Now, lastly, we have the actress Han Hyoju, who unfortunately got the label of the worst actress of 2023, which is absolutely unfair according to us. She received the highest number of votes as 17 different movie reporters picked her. It appears that what got her this ranking was her role in Believer 2. The movie received bad reviews overall, so it's not just her who got criticized for this project. But sadly, she's the one who has taken the flack for the most part. One critic wrote that Hyo Ju's acting performance in the movie was a waste of experience. What's even worse is that this amount of heavy backlash came after her amazing performance in the hit Disney Plus drama Moving. For her role in Moving, Hyo Ju received praise left and right, and even the critics noticed how vastly different her performances were in those two projects. One wrote, the goodwill gained through the Disney Plus Moving character was lost with the worst character interpretation in Believer 2. Another admitted that the movie was so bad that they almost gave up on watching it several times in the process. They wrote, I almost gave up several times because of the lack of any attractive charm. Jumping from a series that got an international rating of 8.5 stars to a movie that received a poor 5.6 stars is a huge leap, and anyone can see that this was probably just a bad choice of a role or an unfortunate experience. It may also be an issue with the directing, so it's difficult to really find out why Hyoju received so much criticism. However, she's scheduled to make a huge comeback this year. Hyoju will be taking on a lead role in the drama titled Blood Free, which has an amazing synopsis, and we believe it will be a great project for her to show everyone that she's one heck of an actress and deserves the recognition. The drama is set in the future, in which humans no longer eat animal meat, but instead consume only genetically engineered products. Hyoju will be taking on the role of a CEO of the company that stands behind these genetically engineered meat products, and it looks like it's going to be really intense. Blood Free is scheduled to air in April, so let's wait and see whether Hyoju can change the critics' minds with her performance.